What's up guys, Jeremy here. Just arrived in Paris. There's Mr. Jeremy. <laughs> Look, what great assistant. Hello. Pick me up here. This is Sarah in on behalf of Guerlain invited me right here. And I have one day tomorrow to meet Thierry Vasseur. I'm gonna visit a museum of fragrances, everything in the shadow of Guerlain. So you thank you very much. I actually just checked out the hotel you booked me in. It's a five-star hotel at the Champs-Élysées. So thank you very much for that. Let's go. So what? I need to get myself a dimmer for this light. It's so bright. I. This is what I do for you guys. I can't see any steps in front of me. It's so bright. But now you can clearly see my face. It's really cold, guys. Oh, look, man. Picking me up with a German car here. Thanks a lot. You're making this possible, guys. Thanks a lot. So we're gonna meet Thierry Vasseur now, the master performer and only in-house performer of Guerlain. And whenever a brand has an in-house performer, you know they mean business. He understands the heritage and the DNA of Guerlain. I love to say that word. So let's check out what we got. Tastes good, <laughs> smells good in here. Check it out, guys. Oh, look, that's Thierry Vasseur. Here you have him as well. That's some jasmine right here. Oh, guys, we got Civet. The most unappealing fragrance note on the planet. And he, they made a fragrance out of it. Well, they are, they are. Oh, okay. Let's let's try this one. This is insolence. I have never smelled this one. Always read about this. They, uh, they don't have it here. But I'm gonna smell that later somewhere. They are all good. Great sprayer. And also, so if I walk, somebody sits here, I'm so tall, they won't smell my scent bubble. But if it's here coming with me, people can smell me. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, the man, and here comes in the Thierry Vasseur, the most charismatic performer I know. Salut, Jeremy. It's nice to see you. Did, did I shrink or did you grow up? <laughs> man, you're so cool. Since last time. I mean, you grew up. No, no, no. But you smell good. What is that? Abbey Rouge. Abbey uh, Rouge. I always wear Abbey Rouge. <laughs> you're the first non Guerlain in the Guerlain family. Exactly. No, but it's not that heavy to carry. I mean, a lot of people think that you have uh, like uh, 180 years yeah. uh, to carry over since I've been here for 10 years now. 10 years, So it's sure. not 190 years of celebration, it's 10 years <laughs> of <Four> year. <laughs> Guerlain takes you. Guerlain and takes and the you. story is so strong that you are in a swirl and that heritage is not that heavy to, to carry mm. because you just surf on the wave. But yeah. today you are going to discover our factory and that's unique because a lot of people outsource their manufacturing. So sourcing, I travel the world yeah. to source material which are gathering here. Yeah. And after you do the manufacturing, and here it's the only manufacturing place for Guerlain for the world. So this is like uh, where uh, Jacques Guerlain was uh, uh, creating and also 
manufacturing a little bit because yeah. at the time the volumes were not as big as the one of, to, of today. <laughs> yeah, but you see. Can I guess what that is? Yeah, but it's gone. You're not gonna be able. Smells like glue. Yeah, because glue was 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 fragranced with the bitter almond oil. Uh huh. And that's what it smells like. Cool. So it smells like glue. I heard you're a super fan of rose, but yeah. why are you not choosing it for the men's fragrances? You think men should not wear rose? Or because what? you think that in L'Homme Ideal... Is there rose? A little bit. Oh, okay. Cool. The, or, the original, the first one, the ADP, yes. Nice one. But, you know, in the description, you don't put everything. No, sure. But there is indeed uh, rose absolute from Turkey in uh, Le Midial. Thank you, Jacques. And I keep this it. for. Yeah. Okay, so I just need to wear my. Yeah, you have the bag at home. So this is the one that we use with larger quantities. Bergamot, Hydro Citronella, Agarwood. Flowers don't travel well, okay? No. So you do um, extract them on the spot. Sure. So here you have some jasmine. Is it allowed to open no. that one? Yeah, but of course, of course. Every, everything you want. And yeah. And this is 10 kilograms of jasmine oil. Five. Five. So how much is that more or less? Uh, uh, 25,000. <laughs> 25,000 euros. The Neroli from Tunisia. Man, if you put that in your hair, your hair smells very fresh. It is wonderful. Here, first of all, wow. you see this one is like three kilos. Guys, this For is example. the whale puke thing. Thierry Vasseur's phone. This is an ambergris stone. Three kilograms, which is over 100,000 euros for that. And we keep this one because Wow. For, for next time, so you, 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 you make it twist, oh, it's not light. heavy. No, because it's, uh, it floats on the water. That's how you, you put it, you recall that on the beach, because it floats on the water yeah. when they puke it, and after you get that on the beach, so it, 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 it is light. How much freedom in the creation process do you have? Well... Does it have to be a complete new composition? Jeremy, I don't think that way. Mm -hmm. Because you if you do, fragrance? because if you do, you put too much pressure on you. Say so like, mm -hmm. I have to do something new. What is this? Mm -hmm. You have to follow a certain train of thoughts and every single fragrance has, has its own story behind with the concept. Of and the name or of the scent? No, the name. Ah. It's the concept, Little Black Dress, Petite Robe Noire. Yeah, yeah, that's a cool concept. Yeah, I agree. But at first I was like, what is this all about? <laughs> Here we go. And, uh, no, you have to control everything. So first uh, batch of a production, spiff, it comes on my desk. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 come on, I'm going to... You will see. Ah, well. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to show you uh, some. So here... Old formula. Yes. So when we do... Uh, when we do... Uh, uh, say, you see, you go in those books and you have all the manuscript of those old fragrances. Wow. 
Yeah. Is and that allowed to show or should I not? Not too much. Okay. No, but what? I just, yo. No, but. I just show it from a distance. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, sure. Just like you go you can see it. No, but uh, it's an old uh, well, you, uh, you, you have, you have that patrimony, sure. and sometimes you say, Puff, what is cypressine smell like? So you look, boom, 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 and eventually you recompound it in the lab, mm -hmm. and eventually it gives you an idea or not. It comes back. Exactly, and you sniff in it, no. and you get lost, and eventually you got an idea. So, Jeremy, I don't know what's next yet. So I can't answer your see. question. You, <laughs> you will, will smell. smell. <laughs> cool, guys. So, we're done in the factory right here. Thierry is going right there. <laughs> guys, I just said, man, I like... I will be 67. Come on. He will be 67 in 10 years. I just asked, man, we will always be friends. Who knows where we will be in 10 years? This journey is just starting. And he said, yeah, cool. Come to my retirement party. <laughs> Thanks, Thierry. Cool guy, cool guy. Bye. All right, guys. One Sarah is left. Wow, how great it looks in here. Look how great it looks in here. 1,000 square meters and right here. The biggest, biggest uh, store or biggest shop dedicated to, to fragrances. One single brand in the world. Wow, fragrance yeah. brand. Beauty brand, I think. Wow, guys, 1,000 square meters. It is considered to be the biggest beauty brand store for a single beauty brand in the world. Wow, this is gorgeous. This is really yummy. You want to drink this, I'm telling you. You want to smell my personal favorite? Your favorite, sure, let's go. Passiflora, mouth-watering nice. <laughs> so, Hello. we're gonna speak about fragrances right now. Exactly, so before that, we're gonna need to do a mini sort of sound level adjusting. Sure. So if you'd like to just maybe say. Yes. Oh, so I will be holding it. Oh, you hold it. Yes, All right, you have cool. Nothing to do. <laughs> nice, very easy. Sitting the first time today? No. So, guys, we're done. Just had a nice little interview backstage. Thank you, Sarah, for making this possible. Thank you. Waiting now for the driver. Thanks, Gurelan. And thanks to my subscribers in first place. It will always be you guys. You and me, we are the team, we are the fragrance army saying bye to you with a nice beast right here with two French people. Is it okay American. that you're... We're American. American, yeah. cool. Nice to see you guys and welcome to Paris. Thank you. What is this? I'm a fragrance YouTuber. My name is Jeremy Fragrance. Jeremy Fragrance? Yeah. You totally had a vibe of a French girl when I saw you. You were very... That's such a very decadent and mm, okay. <laughs> I really thought you I were. love perfume. Yeah, that's yeah, good. So Check out my channel. I will. Jeremy Fragrance. Jeremy Fragrance. Okay. Great. So guys, bye. <laughs>